Hola, Juan. <laughs> Hola, saludos. Hey, guys, how's it going? Thank you so oh, much yeah. for uh, taking the time to talk to me about this. I'm just going to get out of the way. You guys are awesome. I, I'm afraid I'm gonna just going to turn into Chris Farley in the middle of the interview and not, <laughs> no. and, not, and not be able to ask you any questions. So you guys are awesome. I got it out of the way. So let me ask you this. First, Christopher, and then David can, can also answer. Uh, when you guys recorded what will become the movie that we will see on Disney Plus, was this like another two shows for you and then maybe the pickups where you've seen as rehearsal? Or did you have that looming feeling that this was going to be the performance that was going to be preserved out of something that you have been working on for a year on stage? Well, we had been working on it for even longer than that one. And, and, and we were, I think, uh, excited. I think, you know, to, to film a show, every Broadway show, does some sort of a filming for posterity. We knew that this, we were told that this was different. When you walk in, you know, for one of those other types of filmings, there's usually one or two cameras in the house. There were nine cameras. It was all strategic. There was a crew. It was very, it, we were very aware that we were filming the, the show. But outside of that, the fatigue of doing, you know, our 10th show in a row was very real. And there are mm. times in, in theater, especially where you can rely on that fatigue to keep you focused because <laughs> you're so tired that if you get off track just even a little bit, it's a house of cards at that point. <laughs> mm. And they're filming it. So we were trying <laughs> to be very, very, uh, I think just very focused and, and just remain loose. Uh, but, but I think, you know, the thing that could be said about this company from the very beginning is that we were all very, very purposeful on stage and off stage, and, and this also has the distinction of being a show that is so hard to do that there's not a lot of room to goof off or to be worried about, you know, what cameras, or, you know, in your periphery, you just have to do the, you have to just do your show. <laughs> so David, <laughs> let me ask you this, because uh, Lynn manuel has talked about sort of the feeling of being strapped to a rocket since you guys were workshopping this show. Uh, given that you're now here in 2020 talking about it still, has your perspective on the experience changed now that you've gone through different creative ventures? Uh, uh, when you look at what, what we're going to see on Disney Plus, do you feel differently about it? If you could tell me a little bit about that. I think what's interesting for me is that my, my, the thing I always come back to hasn't actually changed, which was just mm -hmm. that like, I wanted to do this show because I thought my friends were doing something cool. And like, I wanted to be a part of it. And I was like, as long as I can be a part of this, I'm going to be a part of it. And then Lynn's right. It was like a crazy rocket ship. But the thing that I came back to every night was that I did this show for as long as it continued to be the most fun thing I did every day, right? Like there's a, a kind of joy that is necessary to, to do the thing that has to be like pretty deeply ingrained in you. And so like, it really was that and like, it, it, it's interesting it being the thing that sort of still nobody has ever stopped talking about this show to me you know what I'm saying so it's not like I got a break <laughs> from Hamilton for four years and then came back to it no one has ever shut up about it so I I, I didn't I didn't have time to be I don't I don't talk about it in this house until now you know now I'm doing press from the house but like in my house I don't think about Hamilton but as soon as I step out that door everybody yells it at me so it never left and my feelings about it haven't changed. I, I, I had an incredible amount of fun doing something really hard with people who I love. That's crazy. That's, I mean, and for that to also be this is insane. Cause I've done that a lot of times in my life and nobody cares, but this time it <laughs> well, was Hamilton. <laughs> well, we care. And thank you so much for keep talking about it. I'll give you my Zoom number and we can talk about blind spotted for about uh, 40 minutes, <laughs> but my time's up. You guys, uh, thank you so much. My time's up. You guys have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, Juan.